Hi, it's Mike from mkdstudios.net and my uh, Facebook page is MKD Studios. This is one of my very first, well, this is actually my very first video uh, tutorial, so uh, hopefully you like it. I got some questions yesterday about the uh, image that I created um, in Photoshop for the uh, baby scan. Um, so just kind of quick run through of how I've made it and uh, creating a brand new one for you from scratch to show you how easy it is. So if you click on file at the top and go to new, select yourself a uh, image size for this purpose we'll use a4 and uh, the resolution is set to 300 and click on create and then what we need to do is head over to google and uh, we'll look for a um, water splash image watercolor splash image so nice little tip for you if you don't know about google images on the right hand side if you click on tools and select the image size um, and look for large images it will bring back the highest quality images for you to use in your uh, artwork um, so you don't get any pixelation and things like that so nice and easy for you to do then right click on the image we'll go for this one right click on the image and click on copy head back into photoshop and it's uh, command v on the mac control v uh, on windows to uh, paste it into there we just need to um, rotate the image, so we click on image at the top, rotation, rotate it clockwise. Then the watercolour image, if you press Command T or Control T, um, you'll see the uh, outline of the image where you can then resize it um, or rotate it round. So, fairly simple to do. You'll notice these purple lines that appear, it just shows that the image is central um, and it's all in proportion. If you are on an older version of uh, Photoshop, you might need to hold shift to uh, scale in proportion. Similar thing now for the uh, baby scan image. What we're looking for with the blend mode that what we want to do, we're looking for a black and white image that will work best. So we'll copy this image over, paste it into Photoshop, Control T or Command T uh, to bring up the, um, the outline um, to make it bigger, scale it up. That's nice center up and now here you can see these are the blend modes that I was talking about so um, by every, by default everything's set to normal which is just the black and white image uh, but if you uh, drop this down we're looking probably for screen in this case will we'll, we'll work very well so that will immediately move the background without you having to do any faffing around to do it um, center the image up uh, you can rotate it around slightly and it's already starting to look really good you'll notice the sharp edge here now so what we need to do just go into your eraser choose something with a really nice feathered edge which which won't give yourself which will eliminate that crisp edge and then all we need to do is just touch it up nicely like that and it's looking really good already so you could play around with it a little bit more if you knew uh, other bits in Photoshop you could maybe change the um, uh, exposure of the image to make it a little bit brighter if you wanted the whites to pop a little bit more but I kind of like this um, uh, slightly faded look because it's true how the scan will look. You can also have a play around with the other blend modes and it shows you a live preview of how they look. Um, not necessarily working for this image, it looks more like an x-ray. Um, but for other images it's, it's a great way of um, manipulating the image so that you don't, you don't have to do the work. Photoshop does it in the background for you. Um, use the T to create yourself some text. Pop yourself a uh, baby name over and you're looking for that central purple line there to show that, that image is, uh, is centralized. Using the eyedropper, we can select the same, uh, similar color as the watercolor splash image. Perfect, um, and okay that. And then it's all about choosing the right font now. So double click on the, uh, the text and it will, um, it will highlight it all. And now a really good um, tip for you, if you don't know what font you want to use, if you go to the top of your fonts list and then highlight the fonts, you can use your uh, arrows up and down on your keyboard to select the right font and you can actually see a live preview of how they look and as to whether it's gonna work for you. So um, just a nice little uh, tip there, just in case you don't know what font to use. I'm looking for something handwriting style. Kind of like the look of that, yep. So if you, if you um, double click on it again, you can use the slider at the top there to increase the um, the size. And you've pretty much got a finished image. Um, if you're not sure how to save in Photoshop, 
to home, you click on File and Save. That will save it as a Photoshop file, um, rather than just saving a flat image. So the beauty about this now, if you wanted to change uh, the, the picture, uh, change the text, you can go back in and edit it, where if you save this as a JPEG, it's a flat image file, you wouldn't then be able to go into edit it. So save as a Photoshop file first, then save it as a JPEG, and that's the one that you can either upload to the internet or pass on to your, to your customer. Um, I hope that's good. Um, first video, so any feedback could be uh, greatly appreciated. Um, good luck, pop your uh, designs further down in the post and uh, let me know what you've uh, done. Don't forget to give my page a follow, MKD Studios. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.